What is going on everyone? It's Scott back from CryptoCroc. Guys, today I want to talk about Quantum, Q-A-U. Quantum is booming today, up 128%, uh, currently trading at around 33 cents, rank 265. And if we look here at its past one month, we can see that really not a lot has been going on with Quantum just till basically the past 24 hours here it essentially pumped up from 14 cents right around to 34 and that is currently where it's sitting at right now um, very small trading volume in the past 24 hours bringing its market cap to a total of 24.7 million usd um, so let's take a look over at their website and there's actually a PDF here on their website that talks about the announcement between QAU and DTR. So DTR is a token, uh, tokens.net exchange. And basically Quantum is going to be uh, merging with this exchange because they see the value that the, the two partnerships can bring. Um, and basically what they're telling people here is you need to send your uh, Quantum tokens to this address in order to convert them to the DTR token. And this is basically going to happen on December, uh, September 15th, 2018. Um, and it also specifically says here that if you do not do this, there you may risk complete loss of funds. So um, it's tough to say what's really happening, why this, uh, you know, why this coin or why this token is jumping up so much. Um, it could just be the fact that people are basically... Um, you know, wanting to buy more before that actually happens, before we actually have to convert them to the DTR token. Because if we look here at the market, it looks like almost 90%, actually above 90% of all trading volume is coming from this one exchange, CoinX Market. And it's coming across these three different pairs, the USD, BTC, and LTC, and people are buying it up um, on this exchange. Um, so DTR is basically a, um, an exchange that's, that's basically, uh, it's relatively new um, and they've officially allow, uh, launched their beta platform where you can actually sign up. Um, and again, it's a transparency, safety, reliability exchange. Um, one more exchange that's going to claim to be the next biggest thing. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's just too soon to tell how popular this exchange is going to be, but they did get uh, a nice domain name, tokens.net. I like that. It's kind of cool. Um, but look here, if we look at the market cap, it's only at $44 million for this DTR token. So very small, um, and it looks like quantum moving over to it is going to help it out somewhat. Um, maybe to increase their funds a little bit. But I also take, took a look at the address that you need to send um, your tokens to. And if you look at here, there's not much transactions going to it. So it says there's only a total of 369 transactions. And a lot of these transactions are old, right? There isn't a lot of transactions moving over to this specific address. So I don't exactly understand what is going on in that regard. Why are people holding on to their token still? Are they waiting to the very last minute? Who knows? But um, if you guys are not familiar with Quantum, uh, basically it's a token that came out last year, back in April. Uh, it had a, an ICO that was basically successfully funded. Um, it raised, I believe, over $4 million. Um, and uh, yeah, it was pretty successful. And basically what the, uh, the Quantum Project aims to do is it wants to bring institutional grade liquidity to the cryptocurrency and digital assets market, which is currently one of the main impediments to large scale adoption. So basically, they want to fund these liquidity pools, give them as much money as possible. And then when they have these funds, they're basically going to allow um, for margin trading of exchanges, connecting various markets by ar arbitraging on price difference, uh, differences and making markets price neutral to algorithmic trading. 
So basically, they're trying to hedge. Um, they're trying to hedge your investment, right? So an exchange might be able to swoop in and arbitrage um, on maybe Bitcoin between two different exchanges, um, and you're going to be then rewarded based on however many quantum tokens you hold. And then ultimately, it's kind of a cool process because the quantum tokens get destroyed at the end. So there's actually going to be um, a point of time where there's going to be no quantum tokens left. Um, and we don't have much statistics on how much they've been destroying. But uh, back in April of 2017, they destroyed approximately 1 million tokens in the month. So if we look here, we're currently at 1.2 billion. Oh, sorry, that is, that's the wrong coin. Uh, 74 billion, 74 million. Sorry, I can't get my number straight. 74 million in supply, circulating supply. And if they're destroying uh, 1 million every single month, um, then eventually this supply is going to either need to be replenished or, um, you know, who knows what's going to happen. But uh, yeah, it seems like Quantum is getting a massive push today. Um, very little volume, though. This is, this is extremely skeptical volume, in my opinion. Uh, Quantum being a 265 rank coin with only 500,000 in trading volume, uh, I'd be staying away from this. Also, the fact that I don't really do a lot of trading on Coinex. It's an unfamiliar exchange to me, um, and I just don't, you know, I just don't put my money in exchanges that are, uh, you know, a little bit too sketchy for me. Um, if I haven't done my research on, you know, the security of the exchange and that sort of thing. So, just want to make this quick video for you guys. Uh, go check up Quantum. Um, see what all the uh, action is all about. But basically, this coin is doing. Um, massive on the day, 128%. Um, yeah, and uh, hopefully it'll keep going up. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to be coming out with more and more crypto videos. So stay tuned, and we'll talk to you guys on the next one.